You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports 2. Let's talk about Mac Jones, a guy I made a lot of videos about last year coming into the season. I made no bones about the fact that he was my second favorite quarterback coming out of that draft. I thought he absolutely should have been the quarterback the 49ers took um, if they were going to trade up to the third spot. Hell, if they would have stayed in the 12th spot, that was the quarterback they should have took. He was so plug-and-play for Kyle Shanahan's offense. Flash forward, and uh, Mac Jones has drawn a very high, high bit of praise from a Dallas Cowboy legend, of course, Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. He's made some comments, and he really sort of says some things that I agree with uh, because I do believe, and I have thought this from the moment he was drafted, there are some similarities between Mac Jones and Tom Brady, okay? Um, you know, I'm old enough to remember Brady coming out of Michigan. I'm a Michigan fan. And uh, some of the same traits, the way they study, all this sort of thing. And I said last year, I thought he was going to beat Cam Newton out for the job. He did, okay? And um, I think Mac Jones has got a great future. However, I do not, and since we're covering this, I do not like what the New England Patriots have done on offense. I don't like the fact that they decided to change the offensive scheme. In case you guys don't know, the Patriots are trying to do the Kyle Shanahan offense, not the Josh McDaniels offense. Why they decided to change the offense, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of Patriot pundits I follow, they're kind of baffled by it too. I also don't like the fact that they've got this sort of... Um, this combined offensive coordinator situation between Belichick, Patricia, and Joe Judge. I hate it. Okay? Now, word has it, the Patriots decided to go that route because they didn't want to pay up to get an offensive coordinator. You know, they could have went and got Bill O'Brien. That was a thing. Bring him back. Okay? They would have had to went and got him from, the, from Alabama, brought him back. But that supposedly, and I still think it's got to do with money, but supposedly, they didn't want to bring Bill O'Brien back because the Patriots view Bill O'Brien as a guy that's either going to get another NFL head coaching job or definitely going to get a college job. One of the two as a head coach. Yeah, believe it or not, NFL owners and teams are still high on Bill O'Brien, the coach. Not the personnel guy, but the coach because of what he did in Tex, uh, for the Texans. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, whoa, Bill O'Brien? Yeah. that's absolute. Bill O'Brien was a major rumor down around the Jacksonville Jaguars before they got Doug Peterson. That was a thing. Now, Troy Aikman, let's get to this. Larry Brown Sports. There have been some concerns surrounding Matt Jones and the New England Patriots offense heading into the season. That's what we just got through talking about. But one Hall of Fame quarterback seems confident that they will eventually straighten things out. Troy Aitman, who is entering his first season as a color analyst for Monday Night Football, spoke with ESPN's Mike Reese about Jones. The three-time Super Bowl champion said he is not surprised by the reports that New England's offense is struggling in the post-Josh McDaniels era. I think a lot of people thought that was a possibility. However, Aikman said he has gotten a chance to spend some time with Jones and had a flattering, if not popular, comparison for the former Alabama star. Quote, I like Mac Jones. I really do. I think he possesses everything you need to win in the NFL. He's a lot like Tom Brady that way, which has not been a surprise as to why he ended up in New England. I think McDaniels, and Belichick absolutely saw the same traits that Brady had, and that is why they were all over him. I truly believe it. And it, sh it should be noted, by the way, another quarterback I'm high on right now is Davis Mills. Well, if they hadn't drafted Mac Jones, they were taking Davis Mills. And if you didn't pay attention to the last five games of the Texans' season last year, Davis Mills showed his ass. 
And the Houston Texans have got a real quarterback down there. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. He struggled early, got, got put on the bench, but when he came back, you could tell Davis Mills had figured it out. Aikman also spoke about how difficult it is to find a good offensive coordinator. A lot of people have questioned Bill Belichick's approach now that McDaniels is gone. Matt Patricia, who made a name for himself as a defensive coordinator under Belichick, is expected to call plays. I don't get it. Former New England Giants head coach and Patriots special team coordinator Joe Judge has also been involved. Again, I don't get it. Quote, I have had a chance to play for a couple of the best who have called it or who have done it. Ernie Zampezi, North Turner. Man, when you get that play call- caller and they're in sync with the quarterback, it's like being in step with a dance partner. It's the greatest feeling in the world, Aikman added. So you think, so I do think they're going to miss Josh. Maybe they already do, but if anybody can overcome it, obviously it's Bill. He's been the best to have ever done it. Early in the offseason, the consensus seemed to be that Jones was working harder than ever and inserting himself heading into year two. He has probably done all of that, but some of the recent reports about the Patriots offense have been troubling to say the least. Jones will turn 24 on Monday, this past Monday. It is unlikely that anything happens in 2022 that will define his career. But he has plenty of challenges ahead. Aikman seems to think he can overcome them. Uh, Yeah, I think he can overcome them to a point, okay? it. Look, I've been keeping up with this Patriots training camp a lot. It's been ugly. (laughs) It's been really ugly, okay? Um, Jones at times has looked good, but you can tell. The play calling feels like it's just all over the place. It's like there's no rhyme or reason, almost no running game to speak of, okay? And they're trying to install, right, that zone blocking scheme that Kyle Shanahan's got, and their running game is a disaster in New England all of a sudden. And that's concerning, okay? I think I think Mac Jones has got all the long-term potential in the world. Would it shock me with the right offensive coordinator if Jones, Belichick, win a Super Bowl at least one? No, I think they got the guy at quarterback. He's not even an issue. By the way, I noticed Mac Jones, take, Mac Jones takes heat for the same thing you used to hear about Brady. If the guy's not a dual-threat quarterback now, there's just a section of NFL fans that think the quarterback is trash. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Uh, yeah, we're going to see how well Trey Lance works out. Um, I'm sorry. I think you need that almost uber-robotic uh, in the pocket and you know this is where mac jones is sort of underrated he's got really good mobility in the pocket up down side to side short intermediate passes um and when you can do those two things maneuver up down side to side in the pocket and hit short to intermediate passes you're going to win a lot of ball games in the nfl a lot just like tom brady okay but yeah the patriots got to figure something out with this offense They truly do. Now, there's been some word, and uh, I don't know for sure, but there's been some word that maybe they've made some progress the last week. Okay, now, something you got to remember about New England, the first four games of the year is always going to be experimental. All right, that's the way Belichick looks at it. He sort of, has anybody noticed, even when they had Brady, they would sometimes go two and two, you know, uh, uh, one in three in the first four games. And then all of a sudden, boom, they just went on a run and killed everybody. Well, they started slow last year. Then they got good during the middle part of the season. They kind of struggled to, to to end the year. And then the Bills creamed them. In the, uh, you, you found out then the Patriots just didn't have the horses uh, to keep up, right? That defense, Jesus, they got rolled. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 fans. Troy Aikman with high praise about to take his Monday night football job for Mac Jones. I agree, but New England's got to figure out offensive coordinator. Peace. I'm out. Till next. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.